Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center as well. Holy Cross, cross country has had some success. Charlie Orlando, the coach, joining us right now. Uh, coach, I'm sure you're looking forward to another successful season. Uh, you got the guys and the girls, so uh, uh, always great to uh, get some young men and women get out there and get after it and learn a little bit and, and get some good, solid running going. And, uh, boy, what a year last year uh, for northeastern Pennsylvania, including Holy Cross on the state level. Yes, it was a great year, and uh, we're looking forward to this year. Coach, when you uh, talk about uh, the guys' team, let's start with them first. Uh, tell us about some talent that you returned and then some upcoming uh, student-athletes that you're going to get at Holy Cross this season. Okay, well, we, we have uh, returning uh, from last year's team, we have Jack Sheehan, Jake McGovern, and uh, Kevin Bailey. We also have some uh, new additions to the team this year. Uh, Billy Lake and Brian Sokol came off for the team. But we think with the new additions that we're going to have on our team, we're going to be very competitive. And our goal this year is, to, uh, of course, it's always in cross country to get to the state meet. But also, we'd like to uh, hopefully uh, challenge for the district championship this year with that team. Holy Cross Crusaders cross country here on the John Mandola Show. Well, Charlie, uh, let's switch gears and go over to the girls' side. And uh, boy, does it get much more successful than what you were able to do last year? Uh, tell us about the group you had last year and, and and doing what you did at the state level. Well, it doesn't get any better than a state championship, and we're really blessed that we have uh, all our major players are are back this year. Uh, we have uh, Tess Kearns, our only senior this year. We have two juniors in uh, Zoe Haggerty and McKinsey Greenfield. We have two sophomores in Abby Gisevich and Abby Corrigan. And we have some new freshmen coming in this year. In, uh, uh, we have Lexi Walsh coming in and Molly Berta coming in. And we also have had some uh, other girls come off to the team to give us a little bit more depth. Uh, we have uh, Allie Rainey, uh, Maggie Rainey, the sister, uh, Megan Healy from last year and Julianne Hunt. So we feel that uh, we're going to have a lot more depth than we had last year. And, uh, you know, across the country, it's that depth of uh, have people to replace if you get an injury and that, that that can make you successful. Charlie Orlando talking about the Holy Cross Crusaders cross country team. And, Charlie, I would imagine you've been around the game for a little bit of time to know that, uh, you know, hey, on paper you guys look great, but uh, cross country is one of those sports where you, there was probably more injuries than the average person would think, and especially with runners, you know, different things happen uh, throughout the course of the year, whether it's, uh, you know, something with their knee or shin splints or they turn an ankle or something like that, especially on, you know, courses maybe they're not familiar with. Uh, tell us about uh, trying to stay healthy and making sure the girls are doing, or, or the guys, making sure they're doing all they could to, to be as healthy as they could and and run to their best uh, potential? Well, that, that's paramount in, in cross country, trying to uh, prevent injuries. Uh, right now, I was real happy what they did over the summer months. Uh, uh, in the past, you may have kids that, that, that may have not done their homework over the summer months by getting their miles in, and then they come the uh, first day of practice and they get themselves hurt because, or they can't do the workouts because uh, they just lack that training. But uh, there again, I'm really happy what They've done over the, over the summer, a lot of them have done a lot of strength training, plus uh, getting the mileage in. And uh, my coaching staff and I, we really uh, try to uh, have them run in, in areas where they the best chance of uh, injuries, trying to keep them on uh, good surfaces and that. So it's uh, like you said, John, it's, it's paramount. I mean, in, in cross country, you could have a kid wake up one day, have an upset stomach, and it really affects the running. So. You really got to be uh, uh, on your toes all the time. Charlie, when you talk about the coaching staff uh, along with yourself, uh, tell us about the you know the mindset that you guys have and making sure that uh, you know that you got good student athletes there at Holy Cross and, and good kids that uh, you want to get the best and, and the most out of them. Uh, how about uh, being together and on the same page with your coaching staff? Yeah, well, we have a great coaching staff. I have a Louis Tempestas with me. He's been with me for. 13, 14 years, uh, Henry Rogers, uh, uh, Tim Walsh, uh, so they've been, uh, they're all, well, I can just put it this way, they're all dedicated runners themselves, they've all run marathons, they've all 
been uh, dedicated to running uh, sport over the years. So uh, we have a lot of experience on our team, and uh, you know, it's a collective effort. It's not all Coach Orlando. It's a collective effort of uh, all my coaches, and we put our heads together every beginning of every week trying to come up with a game plan for that particular week. So uh, I'm really happy uh, with my staff. Charlie, not only do you, you and your staff put your heads together, but it seems like uh, many coaches here in northeastern Pennsylvania are getting the most out of their kids. And, boy, we've had a lot of success at cross country uh, last year, and I think we're expecting it again here in 2014 as well. Well, I definitely agree. Uh, in in uh, Class A and the girls, you still have Elk Lake. They always have quality teams. And now in, in the double A, you have some teams that move down from triple A to double A. The double A is going to be really a tough, really – some great teams out of northeastern Pennsylvania, and they're all going to make their mark uh, come October down in uh, down at Hershey. Well, Charlie, we appreciate you taking uh, some time out of your schedule, and we look forward to a successful season for the Holy Cross Crusaders on the guys and the girls' side this year. We thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, John. Thanks for the interview. Appreciate it. Charlie Orlando, Holy Cross Crusaders Cross Country, here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.